Welcome back to another unboxing and posing video. Today we're going to be looking at the 2019 Hellboy played by David Harbour. This is a long delayed figure. I am very excited uh, to finally actually be looking at this. So please stay with me. We'll be right back. Okay, here we are, taking a look at the Hellboy art box. It uh, looks pretty badass to me. Bottom, top. Side. Okay, let's go ahead and take off the cover. Set that aside. Cover insert. Go ahead and remove that. And here we are. Rim with accessories. And look at that crown. All right, you can barely see any of that through the plastic, and uh, we won't impede the sound by attempting to remove the clamshell. Okay, we are back. Taking a look at the unboxed Hellboy. I do have to say, he is quite hefty. Feels a bit like a TV League figure. Not entirely sure of the joint structure under there, but he is significantly heavy. Nice tread. Let's see his arm. Belt looks nice. Tail. Okay, he comes with a boatload of accessories. Uh, two pairs of hands and one extra. Two fists. Uh, looks like one can hold something. Uh, looks like two revolvers. Uh, nice fire. Assuming for the base, crown of fire, and his horns, um, sword on fire, nice electrical superpower, supernatural power, uh, comes with his base, pretty straightforward, um, looks like hell. But it does come with a not very dynamic posing crotch stand. I'm a big fan of those, but they do sometimes serve a purpose. Then we have a nice Hellboy jacket. Let's see how easy that is to get on and off. Oh, I didn't even notice. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Okay, did also come with a uh, background stand. I don't typically use these, but uh, looks pretty cool. Give it was a little bit of detail. That may be a good background, but it's difficult to stand up. So, rather again, then taking a look at his posability while uh, just standing here. Let's go ahead and pose him and make use of all his accessories. So.
Okay, so post review, um, well, post posing review, I should say. Uh, overall, extremely pleased with how Hellboy uh, articulated his uh, body didn't hamper it too much, even though he was extremely top heavy. Uh, his he tail did help stabilize him during a lot of the poses, um, but he does have smaller legs, and you have to bear in mind just how uh, his stable positions may lean one way or the other <clears throat> his head is, is doesn't really have a lot of movement um, you can move it and his eyes are pointing kind of up so it's a little bit difficult to get him kind of looking direct on uh, i don't think it's much of a bad thing it's just something to keep note of especially when you're uh, trying to aim a pistol and you have line of sight um, accessories are just crazy great um, they look super awesome. I can't imagine what they'll look like under uh, different colored LEDs or something along those lines. Um, some things to keep in mind, uh, the jacket, though he looks really cool with it. I would either keep him on, keep it on him or keep it off. This is a little bit difficult to actually get on. Got to take off the hand as well as the gauntlet, bend the arm back and slide it on. And, uh, because of the type of skin, that he has and ended up actually catching quite a bit on the fabric and I could see it tearing uh, especially as the fabric ages so uh, just be mindful of that and on his shirt uh, which is quite nifty uh, it does have those really tiny tiny fasteners and the fasteners um, and, uh, obviously if you uh, try and pull them apart uh, incorrectly they will pull away from the fabric so uh, just be quite mindful of that. Uh, some further feedback from the horns. Uh, I really wish they would have used little magnets, something uh, rather than keyed in inserts. Uh, you take a bit of pressure to push in, and uh, you got to be quite firm and a little bit difficult to actually pop off. So uh, they're not the horns aren't very heavy, so I'm not sure why they didn't use a magnet in that solution, um, but generally super pleased with this figure and uh i say give him a 10 out of 10 if you haven't picked him up if you I, I would go ahead and do so so um i hope you enjoyed the review and uh, we'll catch you next time right arcadia <laughs>